Hey, what's up everyone? Daniel Kaiser here at E3 2019. I'm joined now by Adam and Dax, the duo from What Boy Games to talk about the recently released into early access Trials of Fire. Guys, thanks for joining us. Tell us all about the game. Uh, it's great to be here at E3. We released uh, Trials of Fire uh, into early access on Steam on the 7th of May, so like a month ago. So to be here at E3, talking to people like you, meeting up with press, meeting up with old friends, showing the game. Like it's a big step for any developer to go from AAA, which we did into the indie scene. So we're just super psyched to be here. Well, I'm sure it's an amazing show for you all, but for those who are unfamiliar with the game, tell us what Trials of Fire is all about. So Trials of Fire is a turn-based tactical RPG with lots of deck building mechanics set in a 3D fantasy world. You go out on an adventure, quick one to two hour roguelike experience, keep really trying, improving your skills. People seem to love it thus far. We've seen some great reviews and there's building up a community uh, around the game. Talk a little bit about the reaction to the game. Getting into early access gives us an amazing opportunity to engage with gamers in the community, to really listen hard to their feedback, make changes throughout that early access phase. You both have been around some really huge IPs, now you're creating your own, and you know, there's no shortage of strategy games in the genre, so why, why was this a big opportunity for you to innovate in this space? So what we really wanted to focus on was kind of making a tactical game, roguelike game, and making sure that every decision is really interesting. There's never sort of an automatic decision from looting to actual combat. Well, you guys aren't resting on your laurels shortly after going into early access here at E3, you made some announcements about new content as well. Talk a little bit about that. So day one of E3, we announced the introduction of a new character class into Trials of Fire, the Alchemist. And for the week of E3, players who log into Trials of Fire will immediately unlock the Alchemist to play straight away. Beyond E3, the Alchemist is still in the game, but you've got to um, unlock that class through the normal means. But it's super exciting to be able to sort of come here and be part of bringing new content at such an early stage, only one month after the launch of the, of the game into early access. Let's talk a little bit about your team, two-person team. How has Unreal Engine helped you all get to this point in development? Well, because it's an engine I'm really familiar with from um, past experience, it, we were able to get stuff up and running super quick. Um, it's enabled to go seamlessly in and out of battle. Everything kind of transitions out of, out of the book, so that's been really great. And having so many um, really great contacts with developers who we worked with at Rocksteady, who are now freelancing or working on a contract basis, you know, who know the Unreal Engine so well, it means that when we need a particular feature to be focused on or, or some new dimension to really get some love, knowing that we can call on great developers, they know the, the level of quality that we really strive to achieve, but they know the engine inside out. So it just means that we can iterate so quickly, and that's the key to quality, right? You've just got to put yourself in a position where you can iterate every single day to make the game as polished as, as it possibly can be. It sounds amazing. You guys are having a great show. Congratulations on everything thus far. Where can people go to learn more about the game? You can get more information on Trials of Fire by following us on Twitter at whatboy underscore games or visiting our website, just whatboy.com. All right, thanks so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your show. And for the latest on all things Unreal Engine, you can head online to unrealengine.com.